talking about asset classes with Nick McDonald. Hi, Nick. Hi. I know you're an active trader. Do you like individual stocks, stock indexes, or do you like uh, foreign currencies? I actually trade all of the above, but I trade them at certain times. And there's only one of those markets you just mentioned, which is Forex, which I pretty much trade all the time. Uh, the reason I trade Forex all the time is no matter what's happening out there in the world, so for example, we could go into a period of a, you know, range, a ranging market on, for example, stocks, where stocks just aren't doing very much. And if US stocks are doing that, then typically stocks in the rest of the world are doing that. Now, if you look at currencies, though, if let's say the US economy is not doing very well, there's always another economy which is doing better. So if you say, for example, take right now, the American economy and compare that to say the Australian and the New Zealand economy where they have higher interest rates and slightly stronger economies you start to see trends whereas you might not see those trends versus economies of similar strength so with the, with the forex market there's always a trend not just on you know a day by day basis even a minute by minute basis but also on a week by week basis which provides long term trends as well as short term trends for us to trade forex has got other advantages of course as well like the 24 hour market for pretty much five and a half days of the week as far as stocks go, the reason I trade stocks at certain times and not now, I like nice steady trending conditions, be that up or down. And in fact, it doesn't have to be low volatility, it just has to be consistent direction. So either we're downtrending, we might be moving fast, that's even better, but I like to see direction. Right now, as we stand today in the index markets, we're in a period of volatility, but range-bound volatility, where we don't really know if the market's going up or down. And because of that, what we also have, if you're trading individual stocks, is we have gaps overnight. Uh -huh. And those gaps add a, an extra element of risk. So I will trade index futures right now, but I'll trade them intraday. I'll be trading them on a minute-by-minute, hour-by-hour basis, and be flat at the end of the day. I won't hold stock positions overnight, so I'm not, I don't usually myself intraday trade stocks. I tend to have swing traded stocks, so I won't swing trade stocks now because that risk of gaps is there. Whereas Forex, it doesn't really matter. I'll trade it intraday, I'll trade it on a swing trade basis, I'll trade it all of those ways because it's, a, it's just a great market to be trading. Any particular time of the day when you're looking at stocks or the stock index futures that is more uh, appealing? It's interesting actually you ask that because I myself, I'm a Kiwi, I'm from New Zealand. I've lived in London for 10 years. So I've been living in London and in London, the market, the US market opened at 2.30 UK time. So 2.30 PM that is. In the afternoon, that's a great time to trade. It's perfect. I used to sit down and trade the open every single day. Recently, about eight months ago, I moved from the UK back to my home country of New Zealand. And now the open is at 2.30 in the morning. Oh. So 2.30 in the morning is no longer a great time for me to be trading. So I've had to change my approach slightly. I've automated some of the things I did on the open. So I'm still ultimately trading it even though I'm asleep. But then I can trade the close. So now the close is around about 8.15 in the morning. And I'm trading, depending on whether it's winter or summer, anywhere from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. is when the markets are closing. And now I can trade the close. So I've had to adapt strategies slightly. But ultimately, you know, coming back to the question, I'm still intraday trading on those markets. The time of the day is not so important. I'm looking at one and two and five minute charts on intraday index futures. And that's when I trade them. Open or close, though, to be specific, would be the best times to be trading. Nick, thanks for sharing your insights with me. Thank you for having me. I've been talking with Nick McDonald.